Hey there, Mr. Bill Poker Peeps. Welcome to the vlog. This is going to be a short intro this time because there is lots of poker to talk about. I played basically three tournaments in the last 10 days and we're going to go over all three of them. Well guys, this vlog is ending up being way too long so I've decided to split it into two different parts. This first part will have the Windstar River Bounty Tournament and my Wednesday Poker League and then I'll do a part two for the Windstar River Main Event. So, no delay, let go. Sunday, August 25th, the Windstar River. Uh, $300 bounty with, I think it's $100 bounty per person. We got a pretty tough table, we'll see you in a minute. Here we go. We're playing against these fine folks right here. Played by buddy Rick Merritt, Sonny's our dealer. Here we go. With blinds at 100-100, I have pocket queens in the plus one, and I have 12K from a 10K starting stack. Uh, under the gun makes it 300, I make the call, the MP2 calls. And the flop, with 1100 in the pot, comes 235 rainbow. The end of the gun bets 500, I call, and so does the player behind. The turn with 2600 in the pot comes a seven. The end of the gun checks, I make it 1300. The player behind me calls, and the end of the gun folds. The river, now with 5200 in the pot, is a queen, giving me a set of queens. I make it 1600. He raises me up to 4,200. Ugh. I tank. He absolutely could have ace four here. I'm not so sure about the four six, maybe, but definitely ace four. I make the call. He has five eight, and I win a good one. So in the early going, I pretty much won every hand that I played. I had pocket aces, pocket kings, ace king, ace queen. I just had lots and lots of good hands, and they were all holding up. So I got it up to 18,500. I have ace of clubs, queen of spades on the button. There are three limpers. Middle position two makes it uh, 600. He's a very tight player. I make the call, small blind, big blind, and all of the limpers call. So on the flop, there's 3,800 in the pot, and it comes ace of diamonds, jack of hearts, nine of clubs. It checks to the MP2. He makes it 1,500. I call, small blind calls, and my buddy Rick Merritt, middle position one, makes the call. The turn with 9,800 in the pot is the two of spades. Middle position two shoves all in for 8,100, ugh. And then my buddy, Rick, he calls. There's no way I can win, so I make the fold. Everybody else folds. Rick has ace 10 for a draw. Uh, the river's a nine, my buddy Rick is out. The other guy had ace king, so my ace queen was no good. Nice fold. All right, blinds are 100, 200, 200. It's a limpy game. I'm in the cutoff. With six of clubs, seven of clubs, I have 16K. It ends up being six of us at 200. The flop, with 1,400 in the pot, comes nine of clubs, eight of diamonds, two of hearts. I flop open-ended. It checks to me. I make it 500. The button and the big blind call. The turn, with 2,900, is the 10 of diamonds. That's a good card. It checks to me. I make it 900. Uh, one player folds, and the next player calls. The river with 4,700 in the pot is the king of spades. And then he leads out for 2,000. Mm. You know what, I decide I'm just gonna go ahead and make the call there. I'm not probably not gonna get any, any hand that's worse than me to call a raise, and if it's better, then I'm in big trouble. So I make the call. He does have jack queen for the big end of the straight, so I lost a relatively small amount for hitting the uh, straight on the turn. First break of the bounty tournament, I have quite a few chips, 16,000 some, got up to 20,000, lost a few hands. I don't have any bounties yet, so we gotta work on that, but good start. As within about 15 minutes, I was already back to 22K because I won five or six small pots, but like I said, I was just winning pot after pot after pot. All right, blinds are 200, 400, 400. I'm at a new table. I'm in the small blind with the ace of hearts, king of hearts. Checks around to the button who uh, limps in. I make it 2,000. The big blind, who's a new player, has a pretty big stack, makes the call, and the button calls also. So the flop, with 6,400 in the pot, comes 10 of hearts, 9 of hearts, 3 of clubs. I flop the nut flush draw. I lead out for 2,200. The big blind folds, but the other player goes all in for 6,300. I got the nut flush draw, two overs. I make the call. And he has ten of spades, king of clubs, and the board comes six of diamonds, three of clubs. I lose. 
But on this day, I was not going to lose for long. Every time I lost some chips, I came right back and won them back. So now with blinds at 300, 600, 600, I'm in the big blind with 9,100. I have king of spades, eight of hearts, a stellar hand. Hey, it's a limpy game and there ended up being six of us at 600. I didn't have to do anything. Just say check. So the flop with 4,200 comes eight of spades, three of clubs, four of spades. I flop top pair. Small blind make it 1,600. I tank and then I make it 3,600. <laughs> Hijack tank folds. Small blind goes all in, has me covered. It's very, very, very loose player. He's been playing everything. So I snap call and he has 810. So I'm in great shape. The board comes nine and a jack and bingo bongo, I'm up to 21K again. So in a bounty tournament, sometimes you take a few chances with bounties and you know other people will also. So with blinds at 400, 800, 800, I'm in the big blind with ace of spades, six of spades, I have 14,500. The end of the gun player who is a very, very loose and aggressive player and playing for bounties instead of the win, uh, he limps in, small blind calls, I shove all in for 14,500 because I think that maybe this player will call with a worse hand. He does. He has a good hand, king of hearts, queen of hearts, but not as good as my ace. The board runs out two, three, nine, six, nine. Mr. Bill captures a bounty chip and some other all important chips. All right, blinds are now 600, 1200, 1200. I have uh, 41,000. I have ace of clubs, 10 of hearts in the big blind. Middle position one raises to 3,200. He had been raising uh, really, really, really large when he had great hands and not very large when he had mediocre or medium strength hands. So I thought that was a tell. The middle position two who had a big stack makes the call and I decide to make the call. The flop with 11,400 comes ace, queen, queen and it checks around. The turn was a 10 and this middle position one player shoves all in for 24,000. The other guy snap folds and I tank and I think and I think and I think I'm thinking boy everything tells me that he didn't raise with an ace because of the way that uh, he had been betting previously. So I make the call and I am correct. He has 10 jack, the river's a six, yes siree. I'm up to 72k now when the average is 48k. So not much happened for a while until we got blinds at 1,000, 2,000, 2,000. I had 111K, well above average. I had ace of clubs, five of hearts, and the plus one. Uh, I made it 7,500. The button and the big blind made the call. The flop with 9,000 in the pot came queen, nine, five. It checked, checked to the uh, button who made it 9,000. The other player folds. I decided I'm gonna peel one off and I make the call. And what appeal it is, the turn is the ace of diamonds. It goes check, check. Uh, the river, 26K in the pot is a seven of spades. Uh, I check, the button bets 13K. I'm a little nervous here, but I go ahead and make the call. He had queen nine for a flopped two pair and I want a good one. Now that was the last good hand I had for quite some time. In fact, we got down to the bubble and got past that. We got down to three tables, two tables. We're down to 16 players in the bounty. Uh, I'm probably maybe fourth or fifth in chips, something like that. We're doing well. And we got to the final table. Windstar $300 bounty tournament, $100 bounties. We are at the final table of nine. Let's go, Mr. Bill. I didn't have very many hands and I also probably forgot to record a few hands just because the action gets uh, uh, fast and serious. <laughs> Anyhow, we got down to eight players. They're talking about a chop. I had whittled all the way down to 92,000 and blinds were at 6,000, 12,000. So I had less than eight big blinds. But we're talking about a chop. And at that point, my portion would have been about, I was the smallest stack. I would have been about 3,400. Uh, the next step was 36, all the way up to like 5,500. But we couldn't agree on it. And then this happened. So I have 92,000. Blinds are at 6,000, 12,000, 12,000, less than eight big blinds. I'm in the cutoff. It checks around to me. I have queen of hearts, 10 of hearts. I jam it all in there and I get called by the big stack on the button and he has queen jack suited. Ugh, big trouble. Board runs out poorly for me. I get knocked out. Unfortunately, I got knocked out of the river in eighth place. I just got short. I had like six big blinds, shoved queen 10 in. Queen Jack called me and 
I am out in eighth place for 1200 plus a couple of bounties, so $1,400. Woohoo! It was just like I found a two hundred dollars in uh, in my pocket because I thought it was eleven ninety eight. It was thirteen ninety eight that I got plus my bounties. So fifteen ninety eight. Let's just call it sixteen hundred into three. So I made thirteen hundred dollars. Not so bad for what eight hours or whatever. Gosh, I wish I would have got the big one though. Oh well. Next time. They played for about twenty or twenty five more minutes and they finally got close enough in stack sizes that they did chop with seven. Ugh for me. Big Stack got 5,200. Uh, the other six players got 4,200. Left me in the dust for 1,400. Not so bad. It's still a kick in the gut. If you ain't first, you're last, baby. So my Wednesday Poker League, uh, $100 to play. There ended up being 32 players. We got down to final five. I think I was fifth in chips with only 17,000 with blinds at, gosh, four and eight. But I picked up Ace King. I ended up tripling up to 51,000. Then I was uh, amongst about average. When it got down to the final four players, it was uh, me, Alex, my buddy Ryan, and a new player, uh, Andy. And those guys are some of my nemesis, the Ryan and, and Alex. Anyhow, it ended up they got knocked out. It was me against Andy. Now, Andy is a brand new player. Sometimes it's really difficult to play against new players. And it went back and forth and back and forth. I had a big chip lead. I, he got back to even. He had a big chip lead. Then I got back to even. And we went back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, I ended up winning the tournament. And so good for me. A nice win at Wednesday Night Poker League for about $750. So my results for these first two tournaments were good, but I'll give you the results of all three when part two is done. I'm planning on another Mr. Bill meetup game in either late September or sometime in October, so look for that to come out also. And with that, let's end this vlog. Let's keep running good. I wanna thank you guys for pressing buttons and subscribing and giving me nice comments. And if you see me, a lot of people say hello and I really, really appreciate that. So thank you very much for doing that. You guys have a fantastic, wonderful, and blessed week, and I will see you next time. Bye.